Ready? Hey, hey, hey guys, how are you doing today? Woohoo! <laughs> I hope that you're having a good day. In this video, we are going to be talking about procrastination. And this topic is a little bit strong for me. The reason why is that many times I need to be delivering a task. And in the end, I end up doing things that I feel they are more interesting and more engaging, such as watching a YouTube video, such as checking my social media, that what I have to do. And I found that this was a problem for me that was stopping me continuing doing my life. Therefore, I ended up going to a life and performance coach called Lars Girl, and uh, he's going to tell me what he thinks, and we will see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but we will see. So, see you in a moment. So, hey, we are here now. We are talking to Lars. He's a life and performance coach, and he's going to help us out. So let's do the session then. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you for having me. I don't know if you have seen the previous video, but what it says, it was that my goal was supposed to be to achieve one million pounds by being happy at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. So obviously that's going to be a very difficult step to make directly. It is, it is a challenge, I agree. <laughs> I think the issue, for example, that I have myself, it is that I have all the ideas that I want to do, but then once I have to do them, I get a stop. I procrastinate a lot. I don't yes. do what I have to do. I think this, this, this procrastination is just a continuous distraction. It's just a habit we created. But in the same, in the same um, situation, you feel some kind of um, an uncomfortable feeling within yourself. And then you think, okay, uh, let's just quickly ch uh, check WhatsApp. Let's just quickly check, um, you know, my Facebook or whatever. And this is basically the situation you have to catch yourself in yeah and then you say okay oh no now i'm doing this just being so big what i'm about to say is just being self-reflective about your behavior on a daily basis and this is also then another habit that yeah. needs to be incorporated sometimes what happens with me is that let's say for example today we are recording this amazing video thank you to the guys but <laughs> but also as well what's happened then it is that if i'm meeting with people and i'm like okay i'm gonna meet with some people to this video to this stuff we just make it happen boom works sorted yeah. done I think to create love for yourself. That's be, we always tend to beat each other, beat us up for, oh, I didn't do this well, I didn't do that. If we are able to love ourselves fully, we actually, actually to, are able to give more love to the outside world. What I um, tend to do with my clients, for example, would be something that like journaling. Yeah. That you actually, I tell them one technique, um, would be to say, okay, you are journaling your thoughts, mm -hmm. your negative thoughts. So you track your mm -hmm. negative thoughts for four days. And then you check all those thoughts. You just um, review all your thoughts. See, like, what's the pattern? So what's the, mm -hmm. what, 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 what is reoccurring? What do you uh, regularly see reoccurring? What kind of thoughts? Yeah. And then you said, okay, what are the negative, what are those thoughts and how can I replace them actually with more positive thoughts? I think that. The first thing I should do is supposed to be healthier, so I can have more energy throughout the day, which allow me to do more stuff. Everything you want to change, you already know uh, what to do. So what I do, for example, when we would have a coaching session, we would break down which of those areas do you want to focus on first, because happiness is basically the umbrella term. Yeah, and that's what basically mm -hmm. how our um, coaching session would kind of run. But we yeah. just make each other accountable for how, how it works. We would we go in a bit more detail usually or at this stage. Yeah. Um, well, I think we uh, at this stage we think you you know that you know need to go to the gym now and like know why and how you want to do it. So and that's what we then close up 
um, the coaching the coaching Perfect. session and then agree on the next um, time we speak and then take things from there and see how you did. So now you have seen my first week. I did some healthy eating. So one of my favorite recipes that I wanted to share is my butternut squash porridge that I do in the morning. It's so amazing and really so good. good. <laughs> and secondly, I've been going to the gym. So hopefully I'm going to be able to start feeling a little better. But anyway, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is the task that Lars gave me. He told me to write down negative thoughts and how I felt for the past four days, which I did that. And now we are going to read them. Just to let you know, some of these things, they are a little bit personal because of they are really deep inside of me. So I hope I'm going to be able to help some people by reading them loud to the camera because they are my biggest fears. The first thing it is that if I am happy right now and what I do, it can change my life. Why would I change my life if I'm happy with what I have? Yes, this has stopped me a little bit because of if I got what I want, why do I need more? But I think that unfortunately in life, we are always greedy and to be happy, we need to achieve more things. They don't have to be monetary, but they have to be about different things that you have accomplished in life. Anyway. Let's come back to the next topic. The next point is that I am alone in this YouTube channel and I don't want to do it alone. Or I don't know how to do it alone. Okay, what I mean by this it is that it takes me a long time to do videos because I'm not an expert with video editing or X, Y, and Z. Therefore, I need to do this by myself or I can pay somebody else to do it. Because I don't have money to pay for this, I'm going to have to do it by myself. The next thing, I worry to make my fiancé feel that I am a failure as I don't become who I want to be or what I want to achieve. <sighs> I think that I worry right now that I'm not doing what I'm saying I'm doing. And this is why I'm realizing that I need to do these YouTube videos and I need to crack on with it. And no matter what, just put myself with it and do it. The reason why I don't do the things that I want is that I want to spend time with my wife and make her happy instead of half doing things, use her for nothing and have problems. This is a little bit more difficult. When I've been doing things, I told Jenna that, oh, Jenna, yes, I'm doing YouTube videos or I'm trying to research or I'm doing the topic. And in the end, I've always procrastinated and went elsewhere instead of doing the research, I was cleaning or cooking or watching other type of videos. I'm making her believe that I was doing the stuff that I wasn't. <sighs> so what I had to do then, it is I had to confront my fears. Unfortunately, I haven't recorded this, but I want to speak to Jana. And what Jana told me is that, yes, as much as she would like to keep me with her, as much time as she wants me to spend with her, she also wants me to be happy. And she said that, yes, as long as we agreed in what compromise we are going to get in order to maintain this relationship, then she will be happy. I don't have any excuses now. I just need to crack on and I need to do this regardless. <laughs> Here we are again. Thank you, Lars, for coming back. <laughs> I have to say, I have to say a big thank you to him. Reason why is that I have learned so much with this session. And now we'll we'll see what he's gonna tell me. Hopefully he's not gonna tell me off a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm, thank you very much for having me back. I really appreciate that. Perfect. So what do you think about what I have done in the past four weeks? I think 
when I watched the video and what you also uh, reported, it was, it looked very challenging. It looked very, <laughs> very challenging what you did there. And that was, that was very, very brave as well. So I really thought it was, it was, uh, it was inspiring that you were, were going through it and just, um, you know, recording yourself and keeping yourself accountable for yeah. all the things uh, you were doing. It was impressive actually yeah i mean i have to say that when i played the video with you i felt quite cringe <laughs> yeah um, I, I wanna, let's talk about that um what is your your biggest takeaway from this whole experience perfect my biggest takeaway with this whole experience it is that somebody believe it or not should be going to should be going to coach <laughs> <laughs> happy you had me say that i appreciate that it, it, to be fair i'm gonna be honest with you that i don't know but when i took the when i took the fear away from me i was like why didn't do this before i know i procrastinate but i thought i was lazy mm -hmm. i thought I, i thought i was a piece of <laughs> <laughs> that could have done better and i didn't yeah. do it because i was tired i couldn't do it and so on but having taken that pressure away from me i realized actually it's not that i'm a piece of It is that I have some blocks and I didn't know why. And yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also this, you say like, I'm people, I'm lazy. It's always, we like to uh, use labels. You know, yeah. It's like, this is what I am. This is how I am. Because these kind of labels give us reassurance. They help us to, you yeah. know, uh, have an identity. It, yeah. gives, it gives us, fulfills a need. It gives us then a need to, to, to know what I am. And this is where my... This is where my, my space is. And we're trying to also to find things outside of that that is actually yeah. reassuring us. So I'm lazy, so I'm not doing anything. So basically you reassuring and like uh, proving to yourself that you're lazy by being lazy. Yeah. So and therefore Agree, you're, yeah. you're, you are more and more ingraining this mindset yeah. within yourself. And by facing that, for example, you you now had that conversation with your partner, like having yeah. this vulnerable place where you like a lot of, you know, this break, um, this shift happened. Yeah. This, this is one of these situations where you then can create, like shift those labels and think yeah. differently about, about yourself and feel more confident, have yeah. more energy. So you do, yeah. Congratulations to that. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. To be fair, I would highly recommend to every single person, you know, to go to a personal coach and Hey, you know, if you want to contact Lars as well, you know, it will be even I'm better. Happy. All the details will be in the comments below. Please, you can contact him, call him. He's been amazing with me. If he's not available, you know, you can look for any other one. But I mean, it's been incredible experience for myself so much. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm, I'm glad I was able to help. Would you like to say anything to the audience? Yeah, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm usually serving um, engineers and tech professionals. I'm helping them overcome their self-doubts, gain confidence and um, support them to thrive in a really challenging industry. But I'm also I'm happy to help. Um, I'm open for any conversation. So feel free to reach out to me. And yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yeah. And hasta la vista, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.